Hi everyone, it's November 30th, which is the last day of Michigan's regular firearm season. I'm out in Montgom County looking to fill my second buck tag and also possibly a doe tag. Um, either one, kind of see how the situation pans out. But I've got my rifle with me and I've also got my bow and arrow. Uh, if I get one that comes in close, I might wait and try and take a shot with my bow. Otherwise, if I get one of my uh, target bucks out there, um, it'll be game time and I'm gonna put them down with a gun. I, uh, I'm hunting a few big bucks out here and I've had some good opportunities this season. I actually uh, passed a pretty nice one last night. Um, still not sure it was the right decision, but I did make the decision to pass him. So he, uh, he was a big, tall, wide eight pointer with some broken tines. So I didn't pull the trigger on him. Uh, I did flip the safety on and off a couple times last night because I was thinking about it. So really hoping that holding out for one last chance is going to pay off. So uh, I'm in here for the afternoon. It's kind of cold and breezy out, so I'm going to keep the windows shut and sealed up nice. Hopefully we get some action tonight, though, and we can seal this, seal this story up right. December 6th, the first day of Michigan's muzzleloader season. I'm in Montcalm County, which is in the CWD core area, which means that um, in this area you can use all regular firearms during muzzleloader season. I'm out here, uh, it's snow covered. I'm hunting over my turnip plot, which I hung some cameras about a week ago to try to take a little late season inventory and see, it was, see what was still out here. And, uh, I drove my ch truck out at noon today and checked them and there was tons and tons of deer hitting this food plot. Uh, a whole bunch of bucks and potentially a couple of them that I might shoot if they came in tonight. So I'm in here. It's about an hour and a half before dark and going to get settled in and hope to see some deer tonight. Maybe even uh, pull the trigger on one. We'll see. Before 4 p.m., I've already seen two bucks and a doe, and just watched that little buck rubbing a pine tree. Don't think I've ever seen that kind of action or that activity happening this late in the season. Hopefully, it's a good sign that we might see a big one tonight. Oh my gosh, 
I've been hunting all year for that buck right there. If he just dropped him at 50 yards in my food plot. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, man. And bucks everywhere. Oh. He's dead right there. Oh. Literally. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Yes, baby. Yeah. I'm tagged out. There's still bucks coming in right now. My camera's almost dead. I was worried he was going to die. Oh. <laughs> He's a tank. Dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, he broke off. Look, see that drop, drop kicker right there. Yeah. Look at that. Dude, that's awesome. I'm the biggest Michigan buck in a while. Yeah. It's an expensive year. Yeah. Well, it took till what December? What is it? The tenth? Eleventh. Eleventh. Took till December eleventh to tag out, but uh, pretty much devoted the entire season to this guy. <laughs> I hadn't got a picture of him since October fourth. Hunted all opening week for him. Every night, didn't see him. Check my trail cameras, and he was out here the only night of the week I did, I, that I didn't hunt. After that, I pretty much tried to get out here every chance I could. What, two months later, he finally walks out in broad daylight, 50 yards, and I drop him. Man. 